Do you remember Obama saying this five years ago when he was first campaigning? We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. And boy, did they like hearing that. A domestic military security force just as big and just as strong as a military that's 54% of all military expenditure worldwide. 170 other countries, and they're not even half of the total pie. We need that domestically. And you know what? They're making good on the plan. It's a RAND Corporation plan I've been warning you about for 15 years since they published it. How to federalize the police, how to take your guns, everything. And how to make you all serve 18 to 64 in national service. I mean, ditch digging. Citizenship is not an entitlement program. It comes with responsibilities. Everybody somewhere between the ages of 18 and 25 will serve three months of basic training and understanding in a kind of civil defense. That universal sense of service, somewhere between ages of 18 and 25, will give Americans, once again, a sense of what they are to be American and their contribution to a country and a common experience. A common experience. Notice he says 25. The actual plan is up into the 60s. It's called FEMA Corps. And they're graduating their first classes. Now, here's the big breaking news. And the reason this is so important is that if we can't force a debate on what's really happening, they're going to win. If they can just deny they've got domestic drones and deny secret arrest and deny warrantless wiretapping, which they now admit's going on, and deny the two billion bullets and the thousands of armored vehicles, which they deny, even though every police department's had them delivered, it's been on your local news. You've seen them driving around, big giant wheeled tanks, but they say, I'm a liar. Sarah Palin's a liar because they don't want to have a debate about what's happening. Now, a highly decorated, a recently retired Army captain, a veteran of Afghanistan, uh, you name it, there is a photograph uh, of him. He is sending a letter to his U.S. senators from here in Texas, he's in Fort Worth, mirroring the reality of what's happening, breaking down all the facts that we've covered on the show. Remember four years ago we got the Homeland Security documents that returning veterans, gun owners, Christians, libertarians, we were the number one terror threat, and I told you they'd soon go public with that. They're now saying, and I'll show you those articles, that Al-Qaeda is not any threat at all. The whole Homeland Security system is for the American people and gun owners who refuse to turn them in. And if you go to InfoWars.com right now, we're linked to all the mainstream news on the front page. Bloomberg, 12 million in TV ad blitz. Obama to hit the trail on a mission to revive gun control. Total semi-auto bans. It's happening in California, uh, you name it. That's their goal. That's their goal. So, retired Army Captain warns DHS acquisitions are bold threat of war against the American people. Yes. If Mexico was buying tens of thousands of armored vehicles and millions of rounds of, of ammo, and their own training manuals said that America was the enemy, you would then know they were planning a war against the United States, hypothetically. Obviously not that Mexico is a real threat in that perspective only in sending so many poor people here, it collapses the economy via welfare, which is what the collectivists want as their new voting bloc. But that's a side economic warfare issue. He breaks down that under the Department of Defense, you have to commission officers through the Congress. That way the president can't become a dictator. There's a separation of powers. He breaks down it's a clear military buildup. He breaks down everything we've covered, how they're training to take on gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, and how this is a Hitlerian domestic coup. He's saying it's a bold threat of war and that it constitutes a coup, coup d'etat, against the American people. And folks, the same global megabanks that put Obama and others in, they've, they've, they've in, appointed leaders in places like Greece uh, and other areas, uh, Italy. They now appoint the governments. They call themselves technocrats. They call it the IMF World Bank Shock Doctrine. They, in, they plan to sign us on to their derivatives that we don't owe and then implode things 
to make us basically debtors on this global plantation. And let me explain something. On his Facebook, there are actual military people, and I followed it back to their sites. It's, it's real military people, the, the minority of them, saying, oh my gosh, DHS is allowed to do whatever they want domestically. Government can do whatever it wants. Department of Defense is military operations abroad. Homeland Security is here. It can do whatever it wants, okay? This is the type of stuff that we're talking about. Where things that we know are illegal, we know are unconstitutional, are just happening. And people either deny it or they say, okay, it's a good idea. They've been trying to get the military to run domestic operations, but it's against the law. It violates federal law, Posse Comitatus 1878. It violates common sense, and he breaks all that down. And then people say, well, it's for Al-Qaeda. No, no, no. They say it's for gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, returning veterans, because they know veterans are aware of the globalist takeover, and that's why you're the number one enemy. If you're a foreign takeover group, you and your collaborators will demonize the veterans who know how to fight you and understand your tactics. Every time authoritarians take over, they purge the old military. And what they've been doing is doing questionnaires and tests in the military and police, finding groups that will take part in this and creating new units. And that FEMA came out this week, uh, officially, and said that they're preparing for civil war in America. So it's a fact. But every time we try to have a debate about it, they say, oh, no, it doesn't exist. Uh, the good news is now that Congress, it's now 15 members of Congress, uh, are demanding an investigation. It was 14, now it's 15. Uh, of the bullet purchases, which they first said didn't exist. And a lot of people are waking up on multi-fronts and realizing this is happening. Because here's the deal. Before they stage a provocation, a false flag, that they're going to blame on domestic groups, you can see that happening. Before they do that, if we are able to expose their paradigm and their history, and if we uh, are able to show that the buildup was happening beforehand and that it's targeting the American people, they won't be able to trigger the precipitating event that, they're, that is their cover for the takeover. So please go to Infowars.com, get the article. I'm going to tweet it out at Real Alex Jones and get this report right here out to absolutely everyone you know. Retired Army Captain Warren's DHS acquisitions are bold threat of war against the American people and is part of a silent, slow coup d'etat taking place. And he breaks it all down from a highly decorated uh, Army uh, combat captain's perspective. I break it down from a deep historical research perspective. He also does that as well. There's no doubt this is a fact. Your denial will allow this takeover. You're sticking your head in the sand will allow this to happen. I'm risking my life to expose this because I realize there's no future if we don't stop this, okay? The only way to go is to expose this and to speak out against it, okay? And then they will have to back off. They are literally trying to now recast the American people that are real Americans as the terrorist. There's going to be a lot of cowardly collaborators, folks, that go along with this. But if we blow the whistle now, they will be forced to back down. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com.